Hi everyone, magandang araw. I am Dr. Chino Siberano and I am a violinist and educator based here in Phoenix, Arizona, USA. And today I want to talk to you all about artistic tone production. Now, why is this important? Because as musicians, our art is based on sound. We need to express the music, its stories, its nuances, its colors through sound not body language alone. So every time we practice, perform, or even just putting the bow on the string, we need to think about two things. One, what kind of sound and color do I want to hear? Two, am I doing that? Now, before we dive in more to tone production, we should first train ourselves to produce smooth, even tones with good bow control. And this exercise is a very old one since Leopold Mozart's time. And it's called son filet. And it's actually exercises that use very slow old bows. So what you want to do is you take your metronome and set it to 60 beats per minute. And each click that you hear, is a second and pick an open string probably a and start with 20 seconds down bow and 20 seconds up bow so on and so forth and the main goal is for you to move the bow ever so slowly and gradually but try your best to produce a clean even tone now it is perfectly fine that your sound may stutter or your bow may shake because it's part of the exercise because we don't usually play that slow of a bow now after a few rounds of 20 seconds you go 30 seconds 40 seconds 50 seconds and lastly to 60 seconds i suggest try on all open strings and if you want some added challenge you can add some dynamics like pianissimo to fortissimo and decrescendo to pianissimo etc now we dive now to the tools that we need for having a artistic tone production so there are three main tools one is bow speed the rate at which your bow travels on the string, arm weight, or sometimes people call it bow pressure, the amount of weight or pressure you apply on the string from your arm and bow, and contact point or sounding point, the specific area where the bow is placed, usually between the fingerboard and the bridge. Now these three interact and affect each other and I suggest everyone should try it out themselves. But conventions, the convention is generally to produce good tones and colors, one has to remember the nearer you are to the fingerboard, the faster and lighter your bow should be. And then when you go nearer to the bridge, the slower and heavier your bow should be. Another tool that can affect your sound is bow angle. The more tilted the bow, the less hair it, con it is contacting on the string, which is the, the thinner or the whispier the sound. And while the flatter the hair, the more hairs are in contact on the string, therefore you can have a more powerful and robust sound. Lastly, while this is a right hand topic tone production, the left hand can also help through vibrato. So the quality of your vibrato, whether it's wide or and slow, narrow or fast, will affect the sound as well. Now, lastly, a tip. Sometimes you depend too much with vibrato in producing sound. So in your repertoire, pick specific passages that you think needs more work in terms of expression 
And now play these passages a few times without vibrato and concentrate and listen to the sound you're making. Now your job is to express what's written on the score with nuance and color with the bow alone, thus helping you fine tune your sound. Now these five tools should be practiced starting with your scales. Have fun in experimenting with these tools and discover what colors you can produce with your own instrument. Okay, while it's very brief, I hope this video helped you all. And if you want to get to know me more or interested in studying with me, reach out through my website, chinosaberano.com or my email, chinosaberano at gmail.com. Thank you to the Filipino String Teachers Association for inviting me to be a part of this wonderful series. Magandang araw and see you all again soon.